You've been caught up for so long in your pain that it seems hopeless. Maybe you've been caught up for so long in bitterness and resentment, and you don't even can't even call it bitterness and resentment. You just know that you don't like that person, and that person is really, really horrible. And perhaps they should drop off the face of the earth, and my life would be better. That's called bitterness. That's your newsflash for the day, if you need it. Maybe you've been caught up in something that you know what no one else knows about, and I don't want anyone to know about. There's healing for that too. And you just feel worthless, like you're at the bottom of the bottom of the bottom of a pile of muck. And you're saying, I'm just this nasty thing. He says, let me fix that too. Let me heal that too. You don't have to stay there any longer. Because there's a God who wants to start the process of healing. Is it going to be overnight and everything can be fixed tomorrow? Yes. Perhaps it will, because God heals that way sometimes. Sometimes it takes time, and God grows us through it. It doesn't matter. God's healing. God's changing. God's fixing, because He's the only one who can. And it's time to not be discouraged and walk into hope. You feel like you're driving around in life, and you realize, I don't really know where I am or where I'm going for sure anymore, because I'm just wandering. I want to invite you to enter in to a whole other place that starts with, first of all, recognizing God's radical perspective, which is the harvest is great. And maybe that means that you are a part of the harvest, and today Jesus is standing in front of you saying, are, are you ready to give your life over to me? That's the first step. Maybe you've been with God for a while, and the first step for you is to say, the harvest is great, and it's all around me, and all around me are people hurting and dying, and needing Jesus. And the harvest is great. And that brings you to the recognition of radical need. The workers are few. And I want to ask you, are you willing to be a worker? Are you willing to step up and say, God, use me in for the harvest? Because if you're wandering out there, these steps begin you coming back to the radical purpose that God has for your life. And so, I invite you to pray to God and say, God, Lord of the harvest, let me see the world from your radical perspective and recognize that the harvest in my life around me is truly great. And thank you that you took to take distracted, non-working laborers, heal them, renew them, empower them by your spirit and use them as effective laborers. You and I invite you to pray that to God right now, saying, God, here I am. Or I invite you to pray and say, God, I am the harvest. I am the harvest. Take me for the first time. Maybe. Because there's probably a couple of us here, maybe even five or ten, that need to say to Jesus for the first time, Jesus, I give you my life. I need you in it. I've been running for a long time. And Jesus is just alive today as he was 2,000 years ago to heal pain and transform lives and give you a purpose. And he wants to be Jesus. Let us see life from your radical perspective. Let us see that the harvest is truly great all the way around us. And that the need is huge. God, use us. Thank you. We can take even me. And use me for your kingdom. Pray in the hush.